Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and for this video, we're going to be working with the Monk Spade. Now, um, first off, before we go any further, this is going to be working with the Choi Le Fat footwork. Now, I made a video, and I have a playlist specifically for this footwork. You can check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you have that footwork down, let's play around with some different ways of, uh, you know, using hand strikes, weapons, and of course, today's monk spade. Now, monk spades were actually traditional shovels that monks would carry around with them and they would um, give proper last rites and burials to dead that they would find along the road. But it also became a tool of self-defense. Um, this, this is a golden bell style shovel. Um, sometimes you'll see a crescent moon shovel. Sometimes you'll see a coin shovel. It's more for the decoration of it and the symbolicness of the actual weapon itself. Um, most will have, well, most monk spades will be double-ended, but this one in particular is only going to have the golden bell style shovel on the top. Lastly, it, it does make a lot of noise. It's got some rings on here, but it's also got a couple of rings that fall in from the guard. These things slide along, make it even louder, more exciting to use. Okay, so let's get to work. Okay, so it's actually going to start out, the monk spade is actually really fancy, a lot of flowering motions. So we're going to start from our square horse position, bring it so it goes straight up and down, and then turn it so your arms actually cross. Okay, so if we're starting from here, I'm going to bring it up and over so that my arms cross, and then I'm going to turn my body, and I'm going to hit with the flat side of the shovel. So we're going to come across and hit here. Now from here, you're going to sling it back across the body, and we're going to spin over the head, and again, grab to another single end position. So my thumbs are facing forward. Again, we start with this hit. We're gonna use this in our footwork. Grab it, turn around to a low stance position, and we're gonna upper cut right up to the chin. Okay, so again, starting from here, we're gonna go across, over the top, hit. We're gonna bring it around, as we turn around, upper cut. Now, using the bottom end, downward to block a weapon and set up to the side to our post and smash straight down using the flat side of the shell. Hammer them in. Now we're going to come up to our cat stance position, lock up, lock down, and then my favorite move, we're going to go in with the blade of the shovel nice and flat right to the shin. Okay, so again, bring it up and over, hit, over the head as we step around, nice spin, come up, press down, step out, smash, walk up, make the path right to the shin. Again, we're going to toss you, okay, over the head, come up, press down, smash down, walk up, walk down, All right, so there you have it. This is actually one of my favorite weapons. Um, it's definitely a gnarly one. If you're going in with just smashing people's faces with the, you know, the shovel side of it, or just cutting right through the shins, this can be very devastating. Um, this is a really good form, and even with a heavy monk spade, this is a really good source of weightlifting in motion for your martial arts. I hope you guys have fun with this one. Don't forget to check out other videos in that playlist so you can work with that same footwork with things like double daggers or even the toilet foot hand strikes. Till next time, this is Sifu Cuddle. Bam! Fist with a foe out!